part of me is like, I want to see what you do with you say. But no, I know better than that. I'll steal you say. You're going to take you say? All right. Yeah. So you say is yours. Roman is mine. We'll finish off five D's before we head into uh, X's. Crazy. <laughs> And we are ready. The last duel of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds wheel. So I haven't built the Zexal wheel yet. I, I'll, I'll do a little bit of research because I haven't. I probably only watched about 30 episodes when it was first on the, the TV years and years ago. So I don't remember any of it. So I think I got to like two. <laughs> so <laughs> hey. you got me beat. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a moment. Next Next week's is going to be a different duel anyways. So, but for 5Ds, Roman versus Yusei, we know who we're using. And um, we're going to finish this off. I have to say, as I was saying really, uh, before this, is I'm not confident. Uh, Dueling Nexus isn't allowing us to test X, as you said. We just tried that out. I couldn't either. But Yeah, if you're trying to go up against a bot, period, the bot doesn't show up to the match. So, yeah. Which so. is not helpful. <laughs> So no testing on our ends, but you know it's a, it's okay, it's okay. Um, you made me go first, oh, so forty five. Yeah, right. Well, good luck. Um, you have a side deck, I don't, and uh, I'll explain why as well in the end. <laughs> Let's duel. I'm going to set one monster, and I am going to end my turn. <laughs> so yeah, I am pretty. I looked through a lot, and there were some good video game cards that helped it a little bit, but I was not happy with the card pool. <laughs> Understand that. I'm going to summon Junk Blader. Junk Blader. Banish one Junk Monster from your graveyard and gains 400. Okay, well, we're safe from that. It's still 18. Set right? one card, and then I'm just going to go and attack. Hopefully not... Regret this too bad. Self destruct ant. We both lose a thousand once it's flipped, but when it's destroyed, my opponent loses an additional one thousand. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice little burn card. I didn't know this card existed. Pretty good. Two thousand life points for one destroyed monster. I'll take it. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I just need to draw the other ones and we can uh we can look pretty good. <laughs> The other, oh, I was like, the other one? I'm like, is there a different type of self-destruct ant that I need to worry about? I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. The same card. <laughs> Super destructing ant. Super self-destructing ant. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, or we'll take it Pokemon. Super, ex it's explosion ant. The, the, the stronger yeah. self-destruct explosion ant. I almost read this effect out loud. <laughs> yes, please do. Yeah, okay. I can, I, I have, there's nothing I could do here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to set a card and set a monster in defense mode. This is horrible. I end my turn. Yeah, this is, I'm going to set a monster and then, I don't like that face down, but I'm going to attack anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. You activated nothing. You just destroyed my monster. Oh. It's the fact uh, so works. A, ooh, ground spider's kind of cool looking. Definitely cool like, looking. It's creepy, Needs to be cool. face up though. Oh shoot! Sorry, I thought I <laughs> in my turn. Oh no, yeah, all you. <laughs> all right. So you to do something while I read, and then I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> uh, okay. We got potential. What can we do here? Absolutely nothing. Wow, there's nothing I could do here. Okay. All right, so I have a play. Let's see if it gets uninterrupted. That I guess that's the first thing. I'm going to flip over. Call of the Haunted. I will bring back my ground spider. Okay. Ground spider in attack okay, mode. Synchro is involved. <laughs> oh, of course. I summon Infernity Beetle in attack mode. Next, I will use my tuner Infernity like Beetle. Card. And Synchro summon Underground Arachnid. Ah, 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 ah. In attack mode. Now, Underground Arachnid has a cool little ability. Once per turn, I could select a face-up monster my opponent controls and equip it to this card. If I would be destroyed by battle, I destroy my equipped monster instead. So, let's Ooh. go ahead and activate that. I'm going to take your face-up monster right here. 
and throw it right over here. Its other abilities, when I attack, spell, and trap cards cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. So yeah, we're going to like. go into the battle phase and attack into your face down monster and hope. Ah, oh, shield wing. Gosh dang it. The thing needs to be hit, what, three times? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. we're not getting around that thing anytime soon, but the good news is... Yeah, is, is it, um, you can take control of any face up monster, or does it have to be... Oh, okay. once per turn, I think. What is it? Uh, any face up once monster. Turn, select one face up monster your opponent controls. So we just got to wait until next turn. I end this turn. So as long as um there's no destruction in my future, I think I can uh, outlive... Though your shield wing is a two star, so a tuner can pretty much change this as well. Yeah, no, I'm not getting anything I need here. So, set a card, set a monster, activate mass. No! Go to your underground art. You say uses mask of a curse? That's bull. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're going to burn me. As well, so... It's going to end up burning me. That's not good. I swear, if that's another shield wing face down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to end my turn. I mean... Oh, you say supposed oh, to be oh, 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 I think I just found the answer. I think we're going to clean up some fields here. Uh, first things first, I'm just going to activate Heavy Storm. Damn you. I know, I get rid of my protection. Ooh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, not bad. Wouldn't help you against yeah. my Arachnid. Um, I am going to activate my ability. I'm going to take your Shield Wing. Next, I'm going to, and I think I can do this, right? Not bad, but it's not worth summoning because it's not, not worth summoning. All right, let's go into the battle phase and just attack over, hopefully, something. You can attack Gosh, over, but freaking not destroy dang it. Well, this one at least is one less, but attack per battle phase. But it still requires to be hit multiple times, and I don't have that luxury right now, so I have to end my turn. <laughs> Dude, it's not like I can do anything right now anyway, so. I mean, the trap oh. cards I got rid of weren't too bad. Call the Haunted, Scrap Iron Scarecrow is more for the Mask of a Cursed, sadly. And now I have to worry about another face down, and no longer having the protection to take care of it. Well, I said two cards face down and uh, in my turn. Interesting. No my protection. No monsters. Hmm. I don't like this. Hmm. Do I go for... I got to think about this. I really, really do. kind of wish I saved Heavy Storm one more turn, but you know what? I wouldn't have known. Okay. Let's Here. do this way. I can't... I'm not going to go all in because I don't think it's... Well, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I can just steal my monsters. I don't like this. I don't have the ability to beat you this turn. So we are going to refrain from going all in. Doesn't mean I won't do nothing. I can only have one monster equipped to me per turn, though. So that oh, does kind of... So I can't do anything about your monster right now because I can't equip the second one. What can I do? Oh, I know what I could do. Oh, oh, I wasn't even thinking. I summon Dark Bug in attack mode. Why do I not like this? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't read that correctly. I thought it was one, two, three. It's only level three. Oh, stupid me. Okay. Well, so I can use its effect after all. No, I can't use its effect after all. Let's see. <sighs> You take no battle damage from effects. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. So I do... Okay, it's not that it has to be attacked twice. It literally needs to be hit twice to be destroyed by battle. Okay, so even attacking with this thing is not going to help. Well, I messed up. You know what? I will just have to deal with that. Uh, battle phase... No. Dude, why didn't you steal it? I can't. I can only have one monster equipped to me per turn. Oh. I mean, I can only have one monster equipped to me overall. Like, I can't equip another okay. one. I know it doesn't say this, but... Oh, wait, yeah, it does. You can only equip one monster at, the, at a time on this, to this card. At the very, I very end. That, though. That's not bad. So, unfortunately, it's all you right now. Ugh. If I read Dark Bug a little bit more <laughs> carefully. I set a monster in my turn. Interesting. Okay. Well, then. I guess I'm going to activate the Raigeki card because we're not going anywhere and we're going nowhere fast. So, let's... uh. <sighs> Let's see if we could at least destroy these things. Okay, cool. What the uh, flip? That's Junk. I'm going to set my monster in defense mode. I, I mean, 
You're not dead yet. I have no way to kill you just yet. Even if I tried, I'd be short. So no, it's not going to work. I'll battle phase, attacking with my underground arachnid. End my turn. It's, uh, it's a slow one for sure. I clicked it, so I'm just going to do that. End my turn. <laughs> Side of monster, gotcha. All right. So it's so funny because Rex and you say this is supposed to be like a really big back-to-back -back duel that happens at the, like the end of the first chapter in 5Ds. And here we are just like, all right, well, I'm just going to set this one card and uh, your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. When you actually get some real decks going on here, even though there's some stronger cards in these ones versus the show, some of the anime cards just, you know, don't exist, so can't use them either. Oh. Oh. So, you know. All yeah, right. it really stinks a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, one day maybe, but as of right now, yeah, not always. So let's see if I can go ahead and... All right, I think we could do something here. Maybe. Depends on what that face-down monster is and any other face-down card. I'm going to summon the Howling Insect in attack mode. Oh, I could have done something. Oops. Mm -mm. I would need something of that much. Oh, no, I, I still can't win here. Okay, well, um, let's battle phase and hit in one more time. Well, one second to last time, maybe. Oh, look at that little junk breaker. All right, well, I'll attack him with yeah. Howling Insect. Oh, shoot. What do you have? I forgot. I don't have immunity with my other monster because it's only when it's he's attacks. But Mirror Force would still be active because it's still the battle phase. No Mirror Force. Ooh. Ooh. Next. Man, I told you this was over. Uh, you could have done one thing, and I apparently screwed that up. So, uh -huh. it's over. I All right. Apparently, done one thing that might have saved me. I say might. Oh, okay. Well, um, I, I still I, don't think it would have worked. Well, if you can't stop this, and you most likely can't, because you can't activate anything prior to it at the, until at the end of the damage step. Underground erected for game. Ooh. Yeah. This, again, if I would have been able to test this deck, I would have known that. Couple things aren't as good as I thought they were. <laughs> let's, uh, let's side deck and hope we could uh, make this go a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Round two, let's begin. It looks like I'm going first again, but this time I have a card that's going to a little jumpstart this turn. I activate the Pot of Greed. It's a spell card that lets me draw two cards. <laughs> All right, let's see. I actually got... Wow, okay. Um... Somewhat similar to my first turn with a little bit extra. Instead of just a set monster, I will do a set monster and a set card and end my turn. Here we go, Daniel. Um, we're going to add one Synchron Tuner from my deck to my hand. I add one Synchron Tuner. Okay, interesting. Synchron, sorry. Oh, that's a good one. Double Summon? Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, I would have liked Double Summon, honestly. It helps if you can't Special Summon, but Junk Warrior is not horrible. I set a card... And my turn. Interesting. Okay, well. Ooh, all right. I'm going to activate Spiderweb, the field card. Going forward, if any monster declares an attack, it is changed to defense position at the end of the damage step. It cannot change its battle position until the end phase of its controller's next turn. So not only is the rest of that turn it's stuck, the following turn it's also stuck. So the beginning of the next turn after that is when you could... Put it back into attack okay. mode. So it's a big time card for delay. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. I am then yeah. going to Informer Spider in attack mode. Not the strongest of cards, but it's ability I kind of want to face up. That's what I'm worried about. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, take control of one defense position monster my opponent controls, which kind of goes hand in hand with the spider web I've spun. So, uh, Daniel, ball's in your court. Starting to steal What the fudge Simple is this? Chase. Your opponent can activate. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the effect activations of your synchro monsters with Warrior, Synchron, or, Star or Stardust in their original names. If a synchro so if you synchro summon a Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust synchro monster, you can target one monster in your graveyard. Use this as material. Special summon it in defense position. You can only use the effect once per turn. Okay, decent. Um, but I don't think I'd be able to stop this anyway, so it's all you. See what you got. Gonna go ahead and sum this boy up. Okay, uh, once again, nothing I can do. That's gonna go ahead and... Position. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, go for it. And we're gonna try to or something. Tune him for a level six. Okay. 
It's not Stardust, so we're good there. Um, I think Junk Warrior is five. So what will be six? Go ahead and tempt this boil. Oh, boy. Let's see. What the... F Stardust Assault Warrior. This card, Synchro Summon while you control. No other monsters. You can target one Junk Monster from your graveyard. Special Summon. Oh, gosh. Um, if this card attacks defense... Oh, Piercing Damage. Ew. Oh, ill, no. <laughs> Not a fan of those cards. Mmm. Okay. Um, I have a feeling a Torrential Tribute is involved. No. I do not have a Torrential Tribute in your near future. Sorry to spoil that for you. Uh, battle phase. Only steal defense position monsters, right? Alright. Yeah. Oh, no, but it, when it does that... Right, but time. that's only if this card's destroyed so by a card effect. So I'd have to get destroyed to even activate its effect. But once your monster's that attacked... Is destroyed at all. No. But I do have a card for you. I activate <laughs> no entry. All monsters get changed to defense mode. Okay. Which makes him really weak. <laughs> and my turn. Now we just need to draw a monster that's strong enough to attack over it. Um... Please don't. Sadly <laughs> enough, I have to do something. Um, I am going to set a card. I am going to then flip over my self-destruct ant. That'll deal us at a thousand each. Um, it has to be destroyed for it to um by battle for it to flip the second one thousand to you. So, yep, but it can still beat over my guy now. That is correct. So we are actually... Do I want to do that, though? I don't know. So I have another option here. Oh, this is a tough one. This is so tough. Let's go battle phase. We'll play it safe for right now. I will attack into your starter Assault Warrior. Hold on here. What can you potentially do? I activate Shield Warrior in the graveyard. Yeah. Bash it, and my monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh, Shield Warrior. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's his own ability. I'm... I'm lost. Okay. Doo-doo. All right. Well, I'm going to go to main phase two and activate Swords of Revealing Lights. And then my turn. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> a reposition him. You go right on ahead. Him. Saves you from getting taken control of, I guess. We're going to special summon my uh, junk servant. We're going to special oh, summon okay. junk archer. And then, I can't destroy your Smeller Traps, which is annoying. Thought I could. You can destroy, you can banish monsters for the turn, but it's not going to really help you if you can't attack. So, for right now, we are safe. Yeah, I thought <laughs> I could No, you're good. Um, yeah I, yeah, I still have to figure this out. I'm just if trying I to get, you know, set a monster. If I get rid of Spells and Traps, I'd be sad. Right, yeah. I'm then going to... End my turn. I'm going to hide behind my swords while I can. I'll put it that way. That would have been great a couple turns ago. Um, let's go ahead and try this. We're going to summon this uh, junk anchor. Okay. Special summon junk destroyer. Oh. Oh. Okay. We got a scary monster on the field now. And I got rid of that. Yep, you can safely attack into my mouse without being turned to defense mode, and that yeah, kind of shuts off something else now, too. Light, so. mm, that is very, I very annoying. Just worry me, but... Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. You have no idea what you, you just did. You just drew Dark Hole, didn't you? No. <laughs> I don't know if I Dark Hole, but um, not at least not at this moment. But regardless, like... You destroying spiderweb set me a lot further back than you realize at this moment in time. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. What do I do? I have one more turn of swords. You know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to let you go. Let's see what I can do. It's one turn. It's just one turn. But that one card draw, who knows? Who knows? I'm going to end my turn. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to do it. Okay. Have... No. Wait, you haven't used your right you this turn around. Shoot. I have not, but you're in like luck. Like Dark Hole or Raigeki and I'm in trouble, but... You're in luck, I don't have it. Wow, this is so bad. I'm going to set another monster in defense on on my turn. Oh my gosh. I'm just walling up. There's nothing I can do at this moment in time. You had to destroy... 
spider web. You couldn't destroy this mysterious face down card or swords when it had two turns left. You had to destroy spider web. Ah, oh, you have no idea what you did. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So just the one face down, or what do you got for me? Um, I'm breeding effects. Ah, uh, got it, got it. Take your time. I think we're just gonna go for broke. An attack. Psh, nothing you gotta worry about. You? Yeah, that makes sense. And we'll go ahead and attack you. I'm gonna take the thousand just because you know what it is. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let that happen. Mm -hmm. That's fine. All right, cool, cool. And in my turn. Okay, that helps. It's not the best, but it definitely helps. The only issue is now I have to figure out. Or you just got a tuner, meaning you can synchro. You got to figure out which synchro. Yeah, no, that's. I just. Or well, snatch steel and. Uh yeah yeah steel. that'd be that'd be really nice right uh huh uh huh. All right so. I have a possibility, and I think that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to flip over, and I swear if this doesn't work, I'm reading the card. I'm going to s flip summon. No, I'm going to normal summon dark resonator in attack mode. I'm then going oh. to flip summon dark spider. Dark spider can increase the level of an insect's face up by two for the turn. So I'm going to activate it to increase Dark Spider's level to 3. Which then allows me to special summon a 6. And you remember our favorite synchro from last duel, right? The Underground Arachnid. Which now I can take and, tr well, I can take and equip one of your face-up monsters to mine. And I think we know who we're taking here. Destroy the other oh, yes, 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 indeed. So I'll take your Junk Destroyer, equipped it to my underground arachnid. <laughs> but wait, we're not done yet. We're going to have a little bit more fun. I need, I would need it to, okay, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, never mind, we can't do the, our secondary plan. So we'll just go ahead with what you said in battle phase. Underground arachnid, attack and destroy Junk Archer. I end my turn. Because of its effect, I can't just... You can't do anything during its uh, damage until the end of the damage step, yes. Now, pre-declaration and anything prior or after the damage is done, you, you could do something. We're going to try some Monster Reborn. Oh, that that's something for sure. Okay, um, what, okay. what are you targeting? Don't worry about it. Junk Archer. Oh, your own? I was, I was about to say, if you're targeting one of my cards, I can actually stop you from it, but never mind. I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to, but... Target one monster opponent controls, banish it for the turn, which unequips the monster, but I think it might get destroyed. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yeah. Now you do have the turn with it not on the field, but as soon as I get it back, I'll just attack over you for another 100 life points again. Summon Jet Synchron. All right, Jet special Synchron. summon Stardust Dragon. So if you try to activate his effect, to take him. I can just boom. So yeah, um, you can negate the activation, destroy the card, but that's if it destroys a card. My effect to take it doesn't destroy. Oh, things like Mirror Force, Star Cole, Raigeki, things like that. Oh yeah, for sure. But if I'm just taking your monster, I don't destroy you. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, activate your Junk Synchron's ability, or um, Jet Synchron, sorry. Alright, we're just going to go to the battle phase and hope for the best. Yeah, nothing I can really do about this one. So Stardust will take out my Dark's bug, and that will be that. And my turn. Alright, come back, Underground Arachnid. <laughs> Luckily, you can't beat over it too easily. Oh, I can Again, just... Again, you can steal it. Yeah, I can just steal it. I mean, it's not about beating it over at this point. It's, it's, just, it's just, yeah, you know. Yeah, and I was hoping that Stardust would actually be useful, but of course he's completely useless. He's not useless. Just in this situation, he's powerless. <laughs> Stardust Dragon! Be spun into my web. Taken prisoner by the underground arachnid. <laughs> the true villain here, the dark signing boss. I will now go ahead and summon my spider spider in attack mode. I hope you're ready for it. 
Uh, this is now a combined 39. What do I need? Another 2,000? Unfortunately, I cannot make Ugh. that happen, can I? Oh, wait! I can. No, I cannot. Never mind. Battle phase. Mm, I'm just going to attack him with spy, uh, underground arachnid first, just, just in case there is something that's going to destroy it when spider attacks. Spider attack! Yes. Fudge, no. I was really hoping you didn't. I wish I could use... So here's what I would really, really like, and I know I can't, is if I could activate your Stardust ability while it's equipped. <laughs> yeah, that'd be way too over. I'd be like, oh, ho, but your Stardust is going to fight for me. So once per turn, I can select one face of monster my opponent controls equipped it. If this card will be destroyed by battle, oh, this is going to be by card effect. Ah, unfortunately, there's yeah, no... Yeah, that's what I'm like. I have to be able to use Mirror Force. I've had this on the... Ah, uh, all right. Um, that is very unfortunate. Except that it is not as unfortunate as you may think. I activate Call of the Hunter yeah. while still during the battle phase. Bring back the underground arachnid. And this now he gets to attack he this spider you just cannot squash as easily as you might think. You need a bigger shoe, Daniel. I never said it was easy. At the you first need place. a bigger shoe, Daniel. All right. Uh, Another 2400 for you, and I will end my turn. Though, now either destroy the spider or the call the haunted, and I'm kind of just wide open. See if this works. Oh, I don't know this card at all. Card rotator. No. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, gosh. Well, I think the shoe is big enough in this situation. I gotta read something here. <laughs> Please go for it. To make Jet Synchron. Okay. Pitching the shielding, okay. Jet Shankrod in defense mode. Uh, we've got a five star live, potentially. All right, we're gonna go for bring out Jet Warrior. Oh, the Jet Warrior himself. Let's go. We're gonna activate him and send your guy back to your hand. So back to the. So you yep. can't just call the haunted him back. Well, that also leaves my call the haunted just dead face up on the field because it wasn't destroyed. So that's always fun. Alright, now battle phase and hit you for 21. You finally did damage for the first time this entire duel. No, you, you hit over one of my cards for 100, I think, once. <laughs> I have a feeling you're about to just wipe the field. I wish I could. I'm going to set a card and set a monster in defense mode and unfortunately end my turn. <laughs> if I could wipe the field, I would have won. Unfortunately, no such card in my hand. I'm going to just go for broke, because at this point, yeah, it's worth it's a torrential, and he's so upset. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Not a torrential. Or is it? Hmm. Am I just uh, waiting to see phase. if you'll have more? Back your face down. Please don't be a mirror force, even though it... I it activate my lair wire. What's this do? Um, remove a see. monster, yep, There's and a destroy a fire set. Sadly, I have to actually select one strategically here. So let me remove the dark bug. Um, so if I destroy the jet warrior, here's the problem. All it requires is a level 2 or lower monster, and you could special summon this back on the field. So that's kind of like not too difficult. You don't have a hand, so I have to... It's kind of like if you draw it, right? There's 28 cards in your deck. It's hard to believe you say doesn't have a level 2 or lower monster in the field that he could just bring this back and then use it as a level 7 synchro. And then I go for this Junk Blader, which is weaker, but does have the ability to get stronger with Fodder in the Graveyard. I think I'm actually going to go for the Junk Blader here. It cuts you off of a free special summon and a slightly stronger monster with the Fodder in the Graveyard. So uh, goodbye, Junk Blader. And because you only have one monster, you can't get past my defensive monster. <laughs> no invasion. I don't have an answer to this, so um, I end my turn. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, kind of just sitting here waiting for a good card. I miss my underground arachnid. He was cool. You know what? We're going to activate Synchro Material. No! One of your monsters is no. not a synchro material on my side. I'm going to special summon Stardust Sparkler Dragon here. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get around this. Got coverage. Yes. Being that you're setting in defense of it, you can't change it, so I'm still alive. Can't Ooh. activate my battle phase, but in my turn. Oh, because of, okay. Yeah. 
All right, so... Hey, but I got rid of the, you know, guy who <sighs> can get rid of anyway, and I still got my monster back. So this is unfortunate. There is nothing I can do here. Okay, there's something I can do. I summon Spider Spider in attack mode. Oh, shoot, unless you could just take it now. Never mind, okay. Battle phase, attack into your Jet Warrior. And if this doesn't go through, I probably lose your turn. If this does go through, I potentially... It does not go through. Oh. You could target one face-up card you control. I was thinking it was just for the start of Spark Dragon itself. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh -huh. So that was... Wow, I just baited myself into attack mode. Okay, main phase two. We're going to set a card. <laughs> and we're going to just end to my turn. Fair, it was kind of one of those... <sighs> no, it's okay. Re reading cards, you know, sometimes it benefits you, you, you know? And other times, you know. Uh, all right. Position. Interesting. Defense monster. Well, Let's we don't lose. There's what, 31 total? And my turn. But this may very well be my last turn. Oh. Oh, no. No. One turn too late you are kidding me with this there's no way no 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 oh no yes 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 i am going to let me guess you're about to wipe the field i set a monster in defense mode and end my turn oh, oh no i know what it is i had one chance I drew into it. I did, let's put it this way. I can't do what I would have been able to do if it was one turn earlier. It's your turn. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you decide what you want to do, and uh, we'll see if we go to a round three. I have a bad feeling that it's a bomb. Oh, could it be my self-destruct spider? Hmm. Or self-destruct ant, I'm sorry. Yeah, the way you're playing it up, I have a feeling that's more what it is. I believe you. You know but what? But at this point, if I don't go for it, I'm just as screwed either way. Will you risk not attacking and allow me to have a potential comeback in the following turn? Or will you risk it? It's dumb to hold back, so I'm just going to say, this is how I go, this is how I go. Mm -hmm. Nah, you made the right choice. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, I won't tell you what I drew, but maybe at the end I'll tell you what it was, and um, I'll tell you why it wouldn't work. But that's game. Ooh, that one was a long one. All right, let's uh. We came back from like the group yeah. Fifty. Five thousand life points to eleven hundred, and then boop, all the way down fifty nine maybe. But anyway, all right, one and one, Daniel. Let's see who takes it home. You go first this time. A lot. You go Even first. Then, oh, wow. It, it would have helped much. Wow, what a hand. Oh, well, you're going first, so. Uh, go with Synchro Chase right out the gate. Not bad. I'm going to summon my uh, Junk Breaker in my turn. Small little wall, hopefully. All right, what is it, 1800? I can't believe we actually got to a dual three. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Uh, Pot of Greed, let's go. I know, I opened it up again. Crazy, but this time I have a friend. Graceful Charity! Alright, let's just card oh, two. Sake, you uh, already have more options in that deck than I have been lately. Alright, Dark Spider. I'll give it a Dark Spider and uh, a card I've been kind of hiding, but I don't really want to discard anything else. Earthbound Whirlwind. Oh, why do I know that name? Earthbound Immortal. So, I refuse to use the immortal card. Well, I had it when you destroyed Spiderweb, you cut me off from summoning it. I nice. was going to. And then when you put me down under 2,000 life points, you cut me off from it again. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there was uh, two turns that last duel. But now that we're in this duel and I have probably not going to use it, we're going to go this route instead. I am going to... Oh, you know what? I can't attack over this thing. Never mind. I will set a monster. I will set two cards face down, and I will end my turn. Here we go. 
This deck plays slow anyway, so I might as well just decide and uh, let you, um, I don't know, see what you come up with. I'll, I'll, I'll sit back here spinning my webs. I'm going to set a monster and then attack your face damage. Well, then, I guess I'll just have to let this through. When this card's destroyed, I could special summon an insect monster from my deck with 1,500 or less attack. Let's okay. go ahead and special summon another howling insect. Uh, we'll go defense mode. And I'll uh, end my turn. Sweet. All right, well, let's draw. Wow, that's funny. All right, Um. well, let's see what I can do about this. I think I'm just going to set another monster and end my turn. Here we go. Speaking of setting things, I set a card, <laughs> and I'm just gonna attack no, face down. Nothing summoning, okay. You know what's so funny is I just drew I into my other howling insect, so all three of them well, are now I was gone. I'm trying not to let you thin your deck, but. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of just what we're doing here. Um, I will this grab. Oh, sheesh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, when you start off with Pot of Green and Graceful Charity right out the gate, it's kind of hard not to be able <laughs> to get all your thinning cards. I'm going to ground spider in defense mode. It's one way to have it face up on the field in defense mode. Remember, if I control this face up defense position monster, my opponent normal special summons a monster, I can change it to defense position. So, kind of nice. Fair enough. But that's only going okay. forward. So, I still have to get through this 1800 monster. Oh, that's another card I haven't seen. Oh, you right. need one tuner and you got this. Oh, I got a... Yeah, you would think... I don't have a tuner. None of these are tuners. Sheesh. Oh. I do need to get around to this card, though, and I don't have the means to it without this card. So let's go with Lair Wire. I will remove my Howling... Uh, I'll remove... How... Let's remove a Howling Insect. Like and I'll that. destroy Junk Breaker. Next, I'm going to summon my Spider Spider. And if it destroys a monster in defense position by battle, I can special summon a level 4 lower insect monster from my graveyard. But it's battle phase. Attack into pretend, hopefully something weaker than 1500. Nope, exactly 1500. So that's not going to do anything. I got lucky. <laughs> Alright, main phase 2. I will set a card and Plus end my two. turn. Alright, I'm actually a pretty... Uh, I'm sitting pretty well over here. But yeah, like you said, one tuner can kind of change the trajectory of this duel quickly. Set a card and end my turn. And then until I draw a tuner or a strong enough monster, I'm kind of just st stuck behind your wall. Uh, battle phase, attack into this other defense position monster, and let's see what we can do here. Oh! The wrong oh! One, so. oh! Oh! We did it! <laughs> let's go yeah, ahead. I clicked on the completely wrong card. We'll so grab a howling good. insect out of the grave and we'll place that in defense mode. <laughs> yeah. I will end my turn. I can't attack over the 1500 monster. I have monster. not got a hand this duel, so, you know, a good one at least. <laughs> I mean, you, you you have time. I can't get over you just yet. The strongest thing on both of our fields is 1500. So, we just gotta, whoever pulls ahead first. Yeah. We're gonna summon this boy Alright, well, once you summon a monster, I can place it in defense mode, so, uh. Let's get that that way. So he's stuck in defense mode this turn. Ha ha ha, you forgot no, about no. my ground spider! No, I had something else, but it didn't work the way it was supposed to, so... Uh, and neither are tuners. If one was these I were a tuner, turn. that would have been pointless, because you would just synchro it off. Oh, that's not bad, uh, if I had something else to go along with it. I have legit, like, five of them in my deck, and I have not drawn a single one yet. Interesting. Okay. Um. Still don't have a. I don't have a tuner. There's nothing I could do. I will battle phase and attack into the defense monster. But other than that, I will bring back uh my dark spider. Actually, I should have not. Oh no! Because now if I draw a tuner, I'm screwed. I don't have any room on my field. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was stupid. All right. Well, I end my turn. I kind of screwed myself there. Glad to hear it. Wow. Who knew a wall of insects would hold up? Against some warriors and machines and dragons. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah, no, we're going to let you just stay in attack mode. There's really no reason to put you in defense mode. In that case? Fighting spirit. Hmm. That? In my turn. That's strong. That's a very, very strong. And now I can't get over that either. Hmm. What <laughs> are we going to do about that? I dare say we uh, 
Uh, wow. Well, there's one thing we can do, but it's just not the time yet. Your turn. I'm, I'm stacked over here, and I, I can't find an out. <laughs> this is bull. I mean, I have outs, but I don't have the ability to see it to the end. I'll put it that way. I mean, if I attack, you can get a singer on the field. <sighs> I mean, if I have a tuner. And at the same time, what's your plan? Just let me deck out? Turn. You're not going to spend another 27 turns waiting for me to deck out. I'll I'll destroy my own <laughs> monsters before that happens. Trust me, I will. But you're all right decking you before that. Like. Uh, okay, so that's what you're waiting for. Okay, um... No, I just know that when you were saying you'll get something out by that, I'm like, yeah, but I mean, the least you can do is that. Right. Uh... I mean, I'm in no rush at this point. Go for it. I mean, oh, I do have to discard a card. Uh, I'll discard my other Dark Spider. I mean, you're the one who kind of has to get around me. Because if I do draw Raigeki, it's kind of just over. Yeah, that kind of forces me to do something, potentially. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I'm going to start with Harpy's just Feather Duster. Harpy's Feather. God fucking damn it! Why do you always do that? I had that since like the first. I had that since. I had that since like the first turn. So don't. Yeah, that's like the two trap cards. I can never use them because they destroy defense positions, and it needs you to do that's funny. damage to my life points for me to activate. It. So they're not that strong though. So I mean, uh, overall, one you didn't let me draw. Stop the attack and then draw a card. And the other one would have let me got get a warrior card my deck to my hand. Yeah, I see that. One would have thinned out and two would have gotten me more shit to be able to summon. I hear ya. Well, I do. So... I hate that I'm gonna do this, but I literally have no freaking option here. I can't get over 1500 and I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to waste it on this stuff, but I got to... I mean, you've got to start pushing, right? This is so stupid, but I feel like I just gotta do it. Especially with the only having two cards in hand, I, I'm not too intimidated to save it. So uh, let's go the ahead, Raigeki. The thing that would have saved yeah. me was the shit on my field. So we're going to go in so, for, what, 39 here? So please just end this. I mean, you're still over halfway. You got 41 left. It's it's your turn. Yeah, with nothing to protect me or do any good. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, Junk Synchron can pretty much go off immediately. Um... I was about to say, and here it is. Aha. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I want. I expect it to be banished. Banished? Oh, no. I'm just going to put it in defense mode. You forget. I have control over your monster's battle positions. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Well, I guess you do, too. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, that didn't... Oh. Yeah, it doesn't change yours. Just your opponent's. And yeah. now I could just change them all right yeah, there. Yeah, I had absolutely nothing in my hand. Yeah, not literally you showed me everything. I have... You have one monster on the field and 32 cards in the deck to draw into. Um, yeah, and even if I would have summoned both of them, they would have both been destroyed. I hate that I have no tuners yet. Like, I'm literally just bashing into you with, like, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I didn't get anything. <laughs> so, I'm like, I used up all my resources. What you should have done? You should have You did card rotator before you summoned Junk Breaker. Because once my ground spider was in attack mode, I couldn't have changed you to defense mode. I didn't think about that. I thought I just could do it whenever. I forgot about the defense. So we're going to go hard still, and swap it back. still, it wouldn't change anything because at this point, I got Jack. I'm sorry. But we're just going to hit hard because <laughs> I, I mean, you have another turn. There's nothing I can do about it. We're just attacking you with this weak insects. I have anything like <laughs> um, our coal or anything. I hear you. So I'm literally SOL. I'm surprised. I, I, I would. Oh, we we are doing this for sure. Oh, we are definitely doing do this. That most of it. So half the shit that this deck is built on I doesn't work. I activate spider web. Now I sacrifice dark spoke. Oh, that's uh, I summon earthbound immortal Iru. Iru, Iru. I don't know. By sacrificing dark spider and one of my howling insects. Come forth, Earthbound Immortal! When my Earthbound Immortal is summoned, <laughs> I have to have a field card in play, which is, thank you, Spiderweb. My opponent cannot target this card for attacks, and this card attacks my opponents directly. Ooh. Once per turn, I contribute a monster and target one monster my opponent controls that's face up and take control of it. But it's face down, so that effect is kind of pointless. 
We are just not even going to worry about what this monster is. Because the one face down is shield wing. I was about to say, I'm attacking you directly anyways. It doesn't matter what it is. That is game. Shield wing would have helped. Shield wing would have helped. I would have killed it, and then you would have had yeah, another turn. I literally just drew. No, I know. I know. Turn when I had nothing. You had nothing in Again, hand. Again, I didn't see. <laughs> At the first duel, the card that screwed me was I drew, drew quick draw synchron. Right. Just okay. A five star tuner. And I couldn't activate its effect at that point, so I was like, well, this is wonderfully useless. I didn't see Snatch Steel. Oh. I didn't see Harpy Feather Duster at all. Decent. I don't think I was. I don't think I saw Raigeki. If I did, I only saw like once. So what I think is, you had some powerful cards, but yeah, you're right. You had no way to really like see them. That kind of sucks. Um, your deck, though, I see is a lot of junk syn <laughs> junk synchronization. Uh, junk synchros, yeah, right. Yeah. But um. I also got nitro and yeah, yeah, so I do see the Yusei aspect in here, but yeah, I think if you tested it, you would have definitely had a better engine built out. Where mine, I didn't have a lot of options. I had to build around this defensive spider insect strategy and just stall and hope I could get into my Earthbound Immortal, which I only put one in the deck and a couple cards to rely on. It's a little bricky, but not too bad, because I do know that I had a deck that was slow. But also just the ones that yeah. I can take control or control the battle position so I can attack over your big guys because they're weaker. So many but dumb options. Took so like, long. It is, and I've never used men, almost any of these cards before. Yeah. So uh, I have yeah. nothing to go off of. And here I am literally just, screw it, we're doing it live, you know? And it's like, I would have loved to have been able to, you know, actually test this, but. I have no so, yeah. history with it. I have no... Dueling. I trimmed it down because I had more cards in it, and I trimmed it down. You had something I didn't, an extra deck. I literally have two cards in my extra deck and three of each. Underground Arachnid, and something with zero attack and zero defense, Turbo Cannon. And I was going to summon it, but all it can do is destroy a monster and then destroy, uh, well, burn you for half of its damage. And I just... It was only three stars, so whenever I had Dark Resonator out, I was already at three stars. There's nothing I could really synchro into it. So I was like, ugh. Yeah. So I didn't really have a lot of options. So that's the reason why I played the Earthbound Immortal, because I didn't have a lot of powerful options outside of it. The Underground Arachnid, though, yeah, that was... Honestly, that, that was, was freaking great. 2400 is not a lot, so you, you attack over it immediately, you got it. But if it's allowed to play... Ooh, we took out some powerful monsters from your side of the field. Though that second duel, you still came out on top. So, crazy, crazy. Um, barely. Yeah, yeah, barely. It was a good comeback. It was like 5,000-something life points to your 11, and then you just burned me from the from there. So it was pretty good. But yeah, I was burnt out. You, Yeah, nothing I could do about that. But next week, what are they called? The the worm monsters. A Yang Zings. I, I do think uh, I'm going to come out on top, but we're going to play with the current ban list, so one change of heart is now active. That can change everything. Are you excited for it? I'm excited for it. Oh, yes. I, I'm extremely excited for it. So, I love the Yang Zing, so this is going to be they, they, See, they did amazing, and even though I had Goyo Guardian, I still just, it was just, it, I just could not keep up with how fast it replaces itself. So that's something I got to think about. But anyways, we'll, we'll get into that yeah. when it actually happens. So... Thank you, Daniel. Sorry. Better luck next time. You won last week. I won the week before that. You won the week before that. We're kind of rotating right now, so we'll see what happens next yeah. week. I don't like that trend, <laughs> but... Dueling Nexus would get its stuff together and make the bots actually show up to the yeah. bot matches. <laughs> I, I the computers know, are missing, yeah. I test the deck and what I don't. Even you can realize that what I do and don't test the decks. No. So when I do test the decks, they go much smoother, much easier. Yeah, Dueling Nexus needs to get its stuff together so we start testing the deck again, because I preferred that. I hear you. Yeah, we'll see. Um, uh, let's see what uh, it ends up doing. I know it's this is about two weeks since it's happened, so hopefully there are a fix going on, or we might have to look for another website soon. But anyways, that's the episode. Um, Daniel, thanks once again, and uh, 5Ds is over! We'll go on to Yang Zings versus yeah. Cyber Dragon, and then the Zexo Wheel, which I have not created yet, so that'll come out at the end of the next episode. But anyways, that good. That thank you, fun. and uh, go ahead and close it out. Keep <laughs> doing on and causing chaos. Don't yeah. let the bugs uh, scratch y'all. Yeah, yeah. Don't you let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>
We'll see you all next time. Thank you and have a good one.